Living in Portugal, we don't have many strong winters, and snow is only limited to the northern parts of the country. However, this winter I traveled to southern Germany, and here we have a different picture. Although with only roughly 10 degrees of latitude of difference, it shows already quite a change in climate. Even though not as extreme as you expect from a continental country, the truth is, Germany is actually a quite temperate country, where you can truly experience four different seasons year-round. And this means snow in the winter. For my trip, I'll be exploring the forests around Munich, reaching the shores of the Starnberger Sea. For this, I travel by train to the town of Tutzing. Here you have a very nice view of the lake, and with clear weather, you can see the Alps in the distance. You can also feel this proximity to the mountains by the temperatures that drop to minus 7 degrees with strong winds. This didn't discourage us though, and we quickly walked towards the forest for shelter. In this area, you can expect to find mostly spruce trees, also known as the German pine, beech trees and fir trees. Except for the beech tree, these other ones keep their leaves year-round, and together with snow, it makes for amazing winter wonderland forests. After some hiking and exploration of this beautiful forest, I had the idea of challenging myself with something different. After returning to Munich, I decided to get back to the nearby forest of Perlacher Forest. But this time, I wanted to test my biking skills and get the experience of how it feels to ride in snow. Ideally for this, you want to ride with broad tires with lots of grip, or even better, if the snow is deep, with a fat bike. However, I had none at my disposal, so I borrowed my girlfriend's bike. Although very clearly just a commuter bike, I didn't expect to be crazy amounts of snow. After all, the temperature already started to rise. How bad could it be? As I started to move out of town, I very quickly realized I underestimated the amount of snow. Not only that, but because some of the snow was already melting, it gave away for some slippery <laughs> ice. I never rode on ice before, and very quickly I realized how tricky it is. On the snow though, it wasn't so bad. Even with the skinny tires, I was surprised with how much grip I actually had. And very quickly, my urge for exploration kicked in. And I decided to venture deep in the snowy forest. That's so cool. This led me to surprisingly fun single tracks. If there wasn't any snow, this would have been super easy. But the novelty of riding in snow and having to adapt my riding not only to the terrain but also to an unfamiliar bike made it a super fun experience.
Probably a single track. <laughs> The fact of the matter is, as long as the challenge is pushing your skills to their limits, but not passing it, you'll be having fun. That's the whole focus of the state of flow. When challenge meets skill, it feels amazing. And I was sure having my amount of challenge. This exploration even led me to find some cool hidden features, like this big wooden cabin. If you want to try something like this though, remember to get well prepared with some good clothing for the cold and make sure your bike is up for the test with no mechanical problems. Time to start heading back maybe. Whew. Although I should say that a commuter bike is not ideal, this one really surprised me with how well it handled the challenge. The trickiest part was dealing with this back pedal braking, which was very new to me, but by the end I got the hang of it.
Although I only got a small glimpse of what the Bavarian forests have to offer, I definitely got interest in exploring more. Maybe next time I can bring my bike and push the adventure level. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss my next video. Thank you for watching and I see you next time for another adventure.